Steve McNeil, everyone. Yeah. Steve. Hello. Hello, mate. I'm here. Happy, at last. happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's good yeah. to see you, uh, Steve. You now you are a you're a big deal, Steve. You're a massive deal. Yes, it's true. All right, well, thank uh, you very you, much. You do a show called Go 8-Bit. I do. Um, um, tell us all about Go 8-Bit. What is it? Uh, Go 8-Bit is a live video gaming comedy show where we get comedians to come along and battle each other at classic video games. And they play for my team or my double act partners, mm -hmm. Sam Pamphlon. And if they lose, we do horrible punishments. Brilliant. Yeah. Sounds, it sounds like a perfect night out. No, well, I came up with an idea for a show where I get hurt by the end of it. So it was ridiculous, really. But uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I've done. Are, but people are going crazy for it. Yeah, so it's no, it's great. going really, really well. Yeah. Um, so some of the games that you play on the show, mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen the show, and it is ace. Thank you very much. Um, what, what are some of the, uh, the, the, the most fun games? What kind of games do you play on the yeah, show? It's mostly retro, and it's stuff where the audience and multiplayer, people can kind of, easy ones to do. So it's things like Mario Kart, Street Fighter 2, uh, Pong. <laughs> at the end of the show, which yeah, with all the we get everybody to play on their smartphones, so everybody right. logs into the show, yeah, and then like 180 people all battle each other at Pong. We get them to cope with the phones, and That's thanks amazing. to Rob Sedgbeer, as you know, King Rob, yeah. King Rob. Uh, this genius that came up to us, and because he does, he does this different forfeits as well, doesn't he? Uh, with Will, yeah, yeah. This, so the punishments they're different every month. But I know you mentioned the one earlier, pack lunch. Yeah. So uh, if if we lose, um, we have to complete a level of Pac Man as quickly as we can. And then while we're doing that, uh, Will, who sorts out the punishments, hands out mini cheddars to the entire audience. And then we have to try to eat the mini cheddars from the audience's hands quicker than Pac Man at all of it. So they recreate a Pac Man board. Their unwashed, sweaty audience hands. Yes. Yeah. If you get a wet one, you give it back. That's the, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the, the etiquette, is it? Indeed. Uh, has there yeah. ever been any kind of um, suggestions for games? Or, or, uh, or punishments that everyone that everyone's gone. No, we, we have to veto this. Well, we did. I, I had one rule because we we filmed a uh, like a pilot for TV recently, mm -hmm. and um, I had one rule when we did it because we got a bit of a budget was no snakes. So they got a thirteen foot python, and uh, <laughs> fortunately <laughs> Sam lost because yeah. um, I had Ryan Hart, the Street Fighter Two World Champion, play for me on the sneak. Uh, it was completely um, around. Uh, well, it seemed like it was completely around. I remember seeing it, and it was. Well, I asked him to come. I didn't know oh, he did? picked okay, out, okay. so I got lucky. <laughs> but um, so Sam had to try to uh, play Snake on an old Nokia phone for sixty seconds whilst wearing a 13-foot albino python, oh which, was, uh, <laughs> which was nice. And it was massive. It, it was massive. It was 13 foot long. I mean, yeah, it was Big. frighteningly massive. <laughs> Even if you liked snakes, that was a lot of snake. Now, now you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you, in, ter in terms of um, in terms of the actual show itself and the games yes. that you play, I mean you play a lot of retro games. We do. What is I mean? Do you have any particular ones of your of your past, your your repertoire of, of games that you really enjoyed? Yeah, well, funny, enough, not one that I necessarily played so much when I was younger, but one that I've sort of discovered by doing the show, which was Donkey Kong Junior Math on oh, the NES. Which are, yeah, no, yeah, it's an amazing. Uh, Dan's nodding. It's um, <laughs> basically you have two uh, monkeys, Junior monkeys, okay. who uh, climb up ropes to collect numbers and then go back onto little swamp lands to collect mathematical symbols to do some sums to add up to a number that Donkey Kong himself has set. So you do a series of mathematical sums with monkeys to compete to see who can add up to a certain number quickest. It's set, it sounds dreadful, but <laughs> it's, so much, it's so competitive. It's, it's probably the most fun game we've used in the show. And it, yeah, it's I don't dreadful, think, I don't but it's think wonderful. Kid, kids need to go to school anymore. They can just play games and get educated that way. That's definitely correct. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> now you're, you're, you're a big Nintendo, uh, Nintendo fan as well. I am. You yeah. love Nintendo games. We've got a Nintendo game that we're actually going to play yes. um, right now. Uh, this yeah. is Captain Toad uh, Treasure, Tre Tracker. Treasure Tracker. Yeah. Um, this, is, this, is, this is very new. If you've not seen this before, we're going to play this right now. You're going to show us around exactly what it's all about. I'm going to uh, try to, yeah. Here we go. If the pads are still working, here we go. So we're starting off on the first level. No, we're not. We're going uh, Plucky Pass Beginnings. Hang on, hang on. There we go. There we go. We're it's, in. It said press A on the screen, so what I should have done was press A rather than tap the touchpad. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, well, I've done it now. Uh, what, so what's, the, what's the premise of this game? What this is, well, exactly it's, um, he's tracking treasure. And yep. it's, it, it's Toad, and he's recently been promoted to the rank of captain. Oh. Um, and so the idea... It's quite literal. In the, in the, in the, yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Uh, but if you can see just at the top of the screen, you can see a star glinting there. I can see that. Yeah, that's the goal. You're trying to you're trying to get the star. But along the way, there are three uh, pieces of treasure. I've just grabbed the first diamond there. Good work. And the like, thank you very much. Sure. Sounded a bit patronising. There wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. And there's all these. Co you can get coins as well. So it's like little sub challenges. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, the main idea is to get to. Uh, that star at the top, and as you can probably see, I'm using the right stick to rotate the level to gotcha. find out how I can get to different places. So you, you played a bit, you're, you're a bit far into the game now. Is it, I presume it gets trickier and trickier as you go. Yeah, they, they, the levels get more complex. Um, the minecart levels in it are absolutely wonderful, um, where you actually, uh, 
I want to show mine you. Minecart levels. Oh, they're, yeah, no, they're wonderful. So what you do, I've killed him now, so I can tell you. You hold the mine, the uh, touchpad up like this, yeah. and you can actually look around like virtual reality, and you fire things oh, no from while he goes along a. Awesome. It's, oh, it's, wonderful. it's a wonderful, wonderful game. If anybody's got a Wii U and hasn't got this, they should get it. So both, it's both, so both, both uh, child friendly as well as adults can you know enjoy the puzzles. Yeah, and it's well. one you can play along as well. My, my wife, uh, I say, I say enjoyed it. She got very angry with me watching, watching me be stupid. But uh, <laughs> it is a sort of game where you can all every, everybody can see quicker what you're meant to do than you can do it. So if you've got friends with opinions who like to patronise you, it's a really, really good game. Awesome. awesome. And there we go. Yay. Good job. Great right right job. Yes. When way better than rehearsals when he just couldn't get chaos. He could, absolute absolute chaos. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Did not know how to work the bridge or anything. It was no. just. It was Only just got one of the diamonds though out of the three. So that's uh, I didn't even oh. see the where the other diamonds. Disappointing. Because um, it kind of because obviously the perspective changes. So I mean that's yep. it's kind of like I don't know how you describe it. Kind of like Fez in some respects, but not quite as complex. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a bit more, although the one it is it is a bit fiddly because you control the camera with the right stick, but mm -hmm. for some reason the gyroscope in the joypad oh as well. Uh, but you can't turn that off, so you're trying to do it with the thumb pad, and if you move it this at the same time, you... so it's, it's not very easy to control gotcha. sometimes. And there's no way of switching it off, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully they'll update it. And, um, I hope so. Let's do that. But it is, now, it's so fun. Now, um, being a Nintendo fan, I presume that you are also pretty good at Mario Kart. I am. Well, I don't want to say I'm good at Mario Kart now, because I feel like you're setting me up for something. No, 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 it's all good. Because when I saw Go 8-Bit, when I saw you guys do it yeah. live, you had, you had, what Mario Kart game did you have on the show? Was uh, Double Dash. Double Dash. Yeah, so we get the comedians to drive, and then the audience play like rear gunners shooting the weapons and things. So That's right. Because yeah. the, 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 I guess I mean, you'd explain it better than I would, but I think with Go 8-Bit, um, it's not as quite as straightforward as it sounds when you play things like Street Fighter, because you've got different ways of kind of putting people off and stuff. Yeah, uh, so in some of the later rounds we have like interference cards where, although we stopped letting the audience do it because they get a bit too eager and don't necessarily play within the bounds of the law, but what we used to do <laughs> before someone assaulted Nat Lertzimer in We're December. elaborating the after show. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but uh, we get audience up and we have interference cards and if we wave those, our audience member has 10 seconds to, to interfere with the comedian to try to scupper their chances on the gotcha. opposing team. Gotcha. But people embrace that with, with too much vim. I can only yeah, imagine. Delicate way of saying it, yeah. Um, let's uh, let's go to, uh, to our social area for a second here Absolutely. and go check in with Mr. Slight. Um, Mr. Slight, what's, uh, what's happening on the, in the world of uh, online and in the internet? Well, Miss Anna Lou wants to say hello from Jinx Live Portugal. Hello, oh, hello. 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 Portugal. Portugal. Tick that one off, guys. Tick yeah. it off. <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> One also got some retro games <laughs> with Mr. J Payne 1987 on Twitter saying Revenge of Shinobi. Ooh, yes. And we've got, we've got a cheeky little entry from someone called Stephen Lamb. He looks ah. like, a, looks like <laughs> a lovely guy. <laughs> He's gone for a Day of the Tentacle. Thanks, Steve. Oh, that's nice. Good choice, though. Yeah. Day of the Tentacle? Where, where, where's that from? Oh, it's the a tentacle. Tim Schafer game, a point and click adventure. Like Monkey Island, that sort of thing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. great, cool. Mm, great little Excellent, game. love that, love that. Um, no, no, I mean, later on we've got Dan versus Chris um, right. in, a, in a kind of Mario Kart one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Um, well, for, think... for the sake of drama, I'll say that I will definitely be either of them. Ooh! Ooh. And he wasn't even prompted. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, do you, I mean, do, uh, later on, perhaps um, after those two have, have, have battled, perhaps mm -hmm. you can stick around, perhaps on the after show on, on YouTube, yeah. and you can give them a run for their money as well. I'd love to. Make sure awesome. you stick around for that. Perfect. Um, and make sure you stick around for that. Um, lots more um, coming later on in the show. We've got Dave McClellan's coming up later on, hey, folks. Hey. Dave McClellan's coming up later on, talking about gadgets after the break. Uh, would you please give a, an enormous round of applause for my man Steve McNeil, please, everybody. Oh. 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 What a hero. And all the details. Uh, regarding Go 8-Bit, we'll make sure to have those on Facebook and the website and things so we can go to that Brilliant. and find out where the next show is in your local area because trust me, it is something you do not want to miss. Uh, make sure you continue getting in your um, your Facebooks, your tweets, your YouTube messages into Chris uh, in the social media area as well. Make sure you keep hashtagging Jinx Live and hashtag the country that you are tweeting from. Uh, we want to we try and tick everyone off. Uh, that's going to be impossible, but we'll try it. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I said, make sure you stick around. Dave McClellan's here after the break with that Mario Kart challenge later on. Um, don't go anywhere. We'll see you soon. Right back here in a few minutes' time on Jinx Live! Yay!